Hello guys and uh, welcome to this new video. So we are playing against Akim37, playing e4 the first move. So trying to take the center, e5, knight f3. I will play the scotch. Uh, I will play the scotch, but uh, maybe I will not use too much of uh, of my opening knowledge. So knight takes. If knight f6, I will just go knight c3, the, the four knights variation, which is uh, an easy variation to play for beginners. So that you, you could repeat what I do uh, in your own games. So this is basically the first opening I played uh, when I was like uh, seven, eight years old. I was taught to play this and uh, I had pretty good results. Though bishop c5 is not the move I know. Um, I couldn't show by either knight b3, bishop b6 and bishop g5. Uh, taking advantage of, uh, of this knight, uh, pinning this knight. Or I could go bishop e3, uh, threatening knight takes c6 and bishop uh, b6. Uh, those moves are both playable, I think. Um, but I, I think knight b3, bishop g5 is, uh, is bringing me a more interesting game. So I'm trying to transpose in the variation when they play bishop c5 first. So h6 is attacking my bishop, I just retreat it. So what I want to do is queen d2 long castle here. And long castle and um, I really have a good game against this king. Playing h6 is, is never a too good idea. I mean, it's, it's a weakness, yeah, it's always a weakness, but it, on, on the other end, it's true that this, uh, this pin is really annoying. Maybe queen e7 here might be tricky because after queen d2, he maybe has g5. So this is a concrete move. My idea is simple, it's queen d2, long castle, bishop d3, pawn to f4, pawn to e5, and just, uh, and just uh, kill the king, I would say. J just, uh, just, just go for the opposite, uh, opposite castle. Uh, okay, so let's go queen d2 anyway. Okay, queen d2 might be a, 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 tactical, a tactical problem. Queen d2, knight takes e4, and after knight e4, queen h4, and after bishop d8, knight d2. So, interesting. So, yeah, in h6, it was maybe the idea. What's that now? I don't have queen d2. Uh, so, I can play. Queen f3 still might make sense, or just uh, just a move of bishop, like bishop b5 or bishop d3. Let's keep it simple, bishop d3, queen e2, long castle, and f4. The knight e5 is, is always... Uh, is always a possibility for 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 black. Um, also, I can short castle, of course, and uh, and prepare king h1 f4. So you see, all my ideas are connected to taking the center with the pawn on f4. And the fight I want more to long castle is because I have a space advantage, and uh, my attack on his king is going to be quicker. In fact, I'm pretty. Well, not unlucky, but it's it's a shame for me. I cannot, I, I could not go queen d2. So knight e5. Now let me just retreat my bishop on e2. And in fact, okay, I lost a tempo with my bishop, but he's going to lose two tempo with the knight after I play f4. So after f4, he will probably retreat the the knight to to g6. Uh, maybe bishop d3 was uh, was not as precise as uh, as I would have liked. Um, <clears throat> it's not an easy game for the moment. It's not an easy game at all. Bishop e6, he wants knight c4. I push maybe f4. Yeah, I'm going to push f4. Because I, I need to, I need to, to take space. But this is far from being easy for the moment. And you see the rating 1042 and he's playing pretty good. So maybe it's also a question of motivation for you guys uh, when you play against lower rated players. 
so he has the choice. If he goes knight d7, okay, knight d7, I think it's just a mistake. I mean, it's it's not looking uh, home, no money. I, I, I would choose between knight c4, attacking b2, and uh, knight g6, attacking the bishop. Knight d7, okay, so this is this is really a mistake. Look, this knight is looking uh, way better on c4. Maybe it was an issue with f5, though. Uh, okay, so it's not calculate, but there is always knight e3 attacking the queen. So knight c4 or knight g6. Knight d7, as was played, uh, it's looking really passive. So I still can't play queen d2. This is starting to be annoying as uh, I can play this queen d2, but I can go queen d3. So I protect my pawn with the queen. After knight c5, I just exchange this. And I want to long castle again. And now after knight d7, you can really feel I, I, I have my hand on, on the game because my, my plan is really going smoothly. So now long castle, I can bring the rook and I could, uh, I could push e5. This king is still a big question for me. Uh, long castle coming, hook e1, bishop f3, e5. Especially if he goes long castle, this, this plan is going. If he goes short castle, okay, let's long castle, let's play a quick move. If he, okay, he goes long castle. If he went short castle, I would have pushed uh, some, something with, uh, with g4. So let's continue and play bishop f3. I believe it can't be a bad move. I mean, I'm bringing the, the bishop on a... On, on a good diagonal, looking at the b7 pawn somehow, really protecting the pawn on e4, and, and when I will play rook e1, the, the file will finally be free. I mean, the e5. Queen e8. So, black is really playing on two ranks, so he's unpinning himself. I mean, if, if we talk about the queen, but it's not un he's not unpinning if we talk about the rook. So, I'm just bringing my pieces to the center now one after another. So knight c5 is surely coming uh, shortly because this is the only move to try to to put some pressure. Ah, oh, I missed f5. No, I didn't miss f5. It was bishop d3. So take, take, exchanging pieces. So now I have the bishop pair and also I'm glad my pawn is coming on b3 because I can now, after knight c5, I wanted to, to say play queen c4 and, and b4 is coming also to co take control of, of this important square. So building, building more and more and more pressure against Hakim, 37. A oh, good player, I mean, uh, he's, he, he's fighting good for the moment. Just won't repeat myself because, I mean, I don't want to humiliate anyone on this uh, series and, and, and on the contrary, I want to, to show you that 1,400 points behind, you might think this is going to be just a, a wall cover, and this is not. This is not a wall cover. So, 96 always playable after a5. Uh, only after e5, g5 is not saving the day because pawn takes is uh, attacking the queen, and if, if the knight was on e6, Imagine knight was on e6, e5, g5, pawn take, pawn takes h4. You feel it's okay, the queen is not attacked, but then f5 would come and the knight would be pinned. I hope the variation is not too, not too complicated. So now basically I finished my plan and I, I, I will just need to, to find a way to win material. All my pieces seem to be sitting I ideally. Even even move like knight d5, knight take, queen takes, rook d7 would be pretty much might be pretty much forced, and and then uh, bishop g4. So so I have options here. I have a lot of options here. Uh, need to need to shoot the the right one. So I can push e5, pawn takes, pawn takes. Rook d1, bishop d1, knight d7. No, it's not. It's not my favorite option. If I take, he takes back bishop g4, knight e6. Still saving it. Ten. 
take pawn takes knight d5 attacking the pawn I would really want to find something uh, winning here it's not a question of planning anything anymore it's a question of uh, finding the, the right path through the defense So e5, pawn takes, pawn takes, rook takes, bishop d1. The knight moves to d7. The bishop moves to g4. And, and yeah, this is not over. Oh, if I play knight d5, knight takes d5, pawn d takes d5, I'm attacking the queen. Queen f8, bishop g4, and f5, saving the day. Okay, but I think 95, 95, pawn d5, queen f8, b4. The knight has to go to a6, and everything is uh, is misplaced for black. So I'm starting with 95. After knight takes, I play this move, which is not looking beautiful, but for, for the reason the knight has no good squares, it will be on a6, and it's never coming back in it. And it means uh, it means I will be able to, to build more pressure with... Uh, Temporarily, I will be a piece up. So I'm temporarily a piece up now. After queen f8, which is the only move. I play b4 and really this knight is looking awful. Can even play maybe b5 then, forcing the knight to go to b8. Or I could play c3, keeping the knight uh, on the edge of the board. So building pressure, building pressure, queen g8. This is now um, a decisive mistake. He missed just bishop g4. Tactical blow. Well, yeah, I would better have played b4 first. Okay, just b4 first was stronger. Because you want a version like h5 to play bishop d7, knight d7. You want this knight to be on a6 um, <clears throat> to make sure it doesn't come back into the game. So let's take and let's go bishop g3. Yeah, black uh, can't do anything, so... It's harder to commentate, of course, when uh, when you're absolutely winning. I'm just taking the pawn. I don't see any tactical moves, saving it for black. Just shame I didn't start with b4 again, because knight would be would have the pawn on b4 and the knight on a6. It would just be better, but uh, I mean the bishop are, are bishops are attacking, and um, well, two minutes one zero here already. The idea is b4, knight a6, rook e7 now. I mean, the strat. Those bishops are looking so good. King is safe. Can't be better. Can't be any better for, for white here. You would really feel uh, the knight d7 move was. Uh, was a big mistake for for Akim. So it's maybe four as a, as I wanted to. So after knight a4, I just go queen b3. I attack the knight and the knight is, is trapped. So he has to go knight a6. And I could play like uh, queen to g4 maybe. Or queen to b5. I will have to choose between those two moves. Both are really good though. Okay, I'm queen b3 here. Should be winning the game. The knight has no squares. A last attempt would be to play bishop d4, which might be met either by queen takes a4, bishop b2, king b1, and this is still pretty safe. Either I could play c3. Or I could play rook d4, queen d4, queen a4. Just uh, not to, to bother calculating any other line. 
because the rook is falling on d7 next my queen on a4 will be looking on d7 the bishop d4 queen a4 bishop b2 king b1 i'm straining queen d7 check also uh a nice resource here because after bishop take queen takes the knight is uh He's not gone, so I could go just uh, ship g4. Not taking the rook, I prefer to take the knight. I mean, this is a this is a, a piece, a wall piece. So I could go queen b king b8, queen take, and rook somewhere. But I mean, this is a full piece up, and those two bishops are looking like monsters. So I would really say there is two parts of the game. Uh, the strategical part of the game was won after Akim played knight d7. Okay, let's just take like that. As I said, it's not dangerous because I'm trading on d7. So he has no, even if he wanted to, to search checkmate, he, he couldn't. So he's trading a checkmate, but uh, I would win just by playing queen d7. I'm just trading it and king a1. Okay, so I, I would really say there is two parts of this game. There is the first part, strategical one. Here again, knight, queen d2 is made by knight e4, which was really pretty tricky. So we have this part of the game, and I would say th this is... This Akin played pretty good, and he has to, to calculate the knight c4, is a knight g6, is a knight g4. One of the three moves. But he chose the, the worst option to go back to d7, and, and now... The game is, as I said, the, the strategical part of the game is winning now because the plan, as I said, my plan was to play f4, was to bring my queen, was to long castle, bring my hook to the center. Now it's just happening so easily. And of course, from this position, uh, white has a great advantage. And now I just need to settle the game, finding the, the right pass through, through defense. And knight d5 was... Uh, was uh, was the move I found to, to make the decision. So you had to play queen f8, b4, knight a6. I could have go either if b5, knight g8. Either I could have tried to search for something to build more pressure, like uh, like doubling the rook on the e5 was uh, was one of the possibility I had here. Uh, but okay, you could feel I, I have the, the bishops. Uh, this knight is never coming back. The hook is misplaced. The queen has, has millions of problems just to just to connect uh, with with other pieces in attack. This hook is never coming here. So rookie two, rookie one, maybe, and 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 slowly build uh, build pressure uh, against black. Uh, this game should be should be won like that. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a have a nice day. If you want to have a game against me, you can write a comment uh, as usual under the under the game and uh, I will give you a game. So thank you to Akim37 again. Goodbye.